So, welcome to the command line on variant of our SunTOR 7 host. Now you might not have a SunTOR 7 machine up and running at the moment. Remember, in the next module, we will be running through some installs, but this is just one of the servers that we will be using during that process. It doesn't really matter whether you have it or not, but we can show the install from a local server as well as an internet based server. But just to show you some of things that you are going to be learning as we run through some of them are going to be really simple such as reading from files but if I go through uh, and cut out slash etc and then just look at system dash release file you can see that we are using on this system SunTower 7.2 cut is just a way of displaying the contents of files especially useful the file like this is really short this is just one line just to show what we mean I know that it's one line I think even I I'm not very good at math even I can work out that is just one line but look at this some of the shortcuts that we are going to use at the command line if I go word count minus L I'm just going to use the last argument so we're going to expand then those two characters into slash utc slash system dash release my last argument so we can see it shows me the expanded command directly underneath what I had typed and then shows me look we have got one line as if I couldn't count that myself we have some great tools as well really simple stuff like date okay it's give me the date and the time but look at this if I go through and put it date and minus minus date then we will go through and add in we will say let's say 96 days what the day going to be in 96 days times well look at this March 15 if anybody didn't know March 15 is my birthday and I don't mind birthday presents taken early or on the day you decide when you would you would like to give it to me but make sure you give me something thank you very much I'm just kidding we can also go through and say look 96 days ago or 96 hours ago or 96 months ago so we can get this day this date adjustment really easy and really quickly at the command line we can also do things like this just get our calendar so this is December calendar if you want to see in a three month format let's just do a calendar minus three so we are seeing in November December and January so we so we see a little bit of context around the current month we can also pull up a calendar from particular date and time let's just do March 1995 so there we have it and there no having to page back all the way through your calendar to find mark and 1995 we have it here there on the screen right in front of you we can also use some of our scripture environment even if we don't want to get into scripting gradually if I just run Python then this then gives me a Python shell then I can do far more complex mathematical calculations as a system administrator you might want to work out how many hosts you can have on network let's do a simple class C network so it's going to be 2 to the power of so we can just use the star twice and then the number of bits that we are using minus 2 so that gives me 254 so 254 hosts on my network if we were using say 12 bits if we sneak a few bits out of the network portion we can see that it take us up to 4000 hosts on our network so some of our more complex system admin mods well for those of us who can't work it out inside of our little mind we can work it out in the python share here to leave this we, ju we are just going to use control and D D for Delta if I want to clear the screen I can use the word 
clear but also I can use control hold the control key down and L for Lima we can then clear our screen very easily without too much typing so the command line is really designed to work well for you if I do something like TTY TTY well then show me the terminal that, that I have connected to now I am remoting into the system via secure shell SSH so I am in pseudo terminal that this is this at the pseudo terminal device that I have connected to that's actually a file in the file system if I want to if I want a long listing of this so ls minus l I will laboriously type it out because this is what the share is it all about isn't it laboriously typing but why would I want to do that I am going to do ls minus l and I am going to use them the dollar open up my round brackets and type tty close my bracket so we evaluate the tty command that give me the path to the device and then we do that ls minus l on it let's clear that look how good to control l is it's leave the current line in place just moves it up hit the entry key and there we have it the long listing of this div file within our file system and of course as we go through we are going to learn what all these fields mean but at the moment we can see we have got the right permission set right in the middle that means that the group can write which actually there then interrupt us so everyone on the system can pass them me sending messages to my console if I go messaging no that's a really simple way to mess around with the permissions of my terminal let's look at this again we can see that write permission has disappeared let's turn in let's turn messaging back on go back and take a look at this there we go we got the right permission back again we are going to see how all this works and actually goes together but we can see how we can make the command line a really useful and usable so long as we know some of the basics and this is what you guys are going to learn during this course now before we got we get too excited let's jump back to the slide yeah.